Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on today's devotional, which we're working on this book, Go For It by Melissa Horvath, we will be on number 43, which is about praying in the storm. And like I say, every single day, it's another really good one. So let's hop right in. Let me just say a quick prayer and then we'll jump right in to see what, um, what Melissa Horvath and the Lord have to say about praying in the storm. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for this devotional, Lord. Let us have ears to hear this message, Lord, um, and help us to take it in and live it out. Uh, there's just so many good nuggets in here, Lord, and I just, I praise you, and I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So I hope everyone's doing good today. All right, and this is going to take us to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. And it says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be penned to you. Let me look it up in my translation. Um, Seven, seven. I have a Bible that, I have a life application study Bible in NIV, and I love it. Opened to you. Okay, it says that there's just must be a little typo in this book. It says, um, Jesus is teaching about asking, seeking, and knocking, and this is in red which means that Jesus said it. He said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks the door will be opened. Uh, so here's what she says. Whenever I think about how difficult it is when we feel as if our prayers are unheard, I always go back to the season when I was waiting for my husband. I prayed for my, I, I prayed for a husband for many years and wondered if my prayers would be answered. Eventually, I decided to go ahead and start building my life as I waited. I decided to buy a townhouse, and a few days after closing, I had my first date with the man who turned out to be my husband. My husband didn't pop up when I expected him to, but when God wanted him to. This is such a good reminder for those who are praying for something, to trust in God's timing. And we just talked about that, um, was it yesterday or the day before, uh, about God's timing. Um, so, let's see. It's best not to rush into things just because we're impatient. It's better to wait for God's best. Um, God knows our hearts and our wishes, and he is working in and through all things to piece everything together according to his plans. It's best not to rush into things just because we're impatient. It's better to wait for God's best. I know I read that sentence a couple of times, but that is... Um, that's big. Then the next paragraph says, God hears our prayers. Let's keep praying even through the pain and confusion. We don't have to let the difficult wait ruin our lives. Instead, we can go ahead and live fully while we wait. It's all about trusting and having faith when we pray, not about what we want, but what he has for us. A part of that is accepting that we are asking that what we were asking for may never come to pass. This is very tough to do and we may never understand it, but through it all, we can be confident that there is a bigger picture out there that none of us can see or understand, but God does. And um, when I was preparing for this, I was thinking about the fact that, um, you know, there's lots of answers that God can give us to our prayers. Sometimes he says, wait. Sometimes he says yes, 
and sometimes he says no. And the problem is we always want a yes and a quick yes, right? <laughs> because we're impatient and we think we know how everything works out, but God has such a, a bigger plan that is not just about us, but the people around us, uh, people in the future. I mean, everything affects everything. And so the things that we really want with our heart of hearts that we're praying for, even the good things, um, God's answer for those might be no. And it's, it's hard to accept a no. Or it might be, I'm going to have you wait because I have something better for you. Like this gal was talking about her praying for her husband and finally um, meeting him just a few days after she closed on her townhouse. Um, so we can be confident that there is a bigger picture and that we can't, we can't understand it necessarily, but God does. And he's working through this bigger picture. So in the go for it, she says, waiting in prayer is difficult when you're in those prayerful, confusion-filled, and hopeful days. Keep the faith and be patient. Place your trust in God and not on your own understanding. Remember, he is a loving God and he knows what is best for us even when we don't know just yet. So that's all super good advice. And what does it boil down to? I mean, it really just boils down to trusting God and, and knowing who he is and what his character is. And he is loving and trustworthy. And nothing is an accident. <laughs> Everything is part of a bigger plan that he has. And we just can't see the whole picture. We can only see from our own perspective, the here and now, we can't see, like God is fully in the past, present, and future. He can see all of that. He can see how everything works together, and we just can't, um, because we have human minds, <laughs> and the human mind is not the same as God's mind, so. I am gonna pray, and then um, we will, up next, we will be doing number 44, which is your will, your way. Uh, I will put in the comments a link for this book if you're interested. I'll put a link to my YouTube playlist for these devotions so you can go back and catch up or rewatch something if you want. And I'll put a link to an online Bible store that has life application study Bibles in different translations, different price points. They even have some large print ones in case you um, would like to get a Bible. I think having a Bible is essential. So, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this devotion. Thank you for the reminder, Lord, of who you are and whose we are and the reminder that we can't possibly see how everything works together, but you can. You love us and you want what's best for us. And sometimes the things that we want with all our heart, Lord, you know those are not good for us or that you have something better or that it would be safer or better for other people involved to say no. Um, so just help us to continue praying, even in the waiting, even in the storms, and to trust you uh, that you, you have it. You got it. There's no accident. There's nothing that you're not aware of. Um, so I just thank you so much for this devotion. And I praise you, Lord. I pray all of this in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okie dokie. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was meaningful to you. I am loving this devotion. And we have still 47 more days to go. So we're going to be in this for a while. Uh, anyways, hope to see you later. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day.